Hi guys, I'm Stuart from Curious and in this video we are going to show you how to make this Biltong Maker with this project kit. First, take your two outer rings and six of the straightest skewer sticks, which should all be the same length, so you might need to cut them down to size. We are going to be gluing our sticks to the outside grooves of one of the rings, and to do that, we need something to hold them in place. So, you're going to take one of your elastics and carefully pull it around the perimeter of the ring. And as a disclaimer, this could take a while. Okay, cool, we're done. And now we're gonna do the same thing with the other ring. Locate the skewers into the grooves along the outside of one ring and glue them in place. I twist the stick so that the glue goes all the way around the edge. Carefully place the other ring on top and align the sticks with the grooves on the ring. Make sure that the top ring is level and glue it in place. Carefully lift your structure, turn it on its side without twisting it, and you're going to leave it for about four hours to dry. We're going to be using our hacked USB fan thingy that we made in a previous video. And if you haven't seen that video yet, you can find it linked here or in the description. Once you've done that, take your strips of corrugated cardboard and slot the one side into the other side. Using the same technique from earlier, we're going to wrap our elastic band around the edge to help us glue it in place. Make sure the cardboard is leveled by gently pushing down on it. Glue all along the inside of the cardboard ring and give the seam a little stick together as well. Be careful that you don't add too much glue or it'll take ages to dry. Now you can either wait for it to dry, or if you're impatient like me, you can carry on working while it's still wet. But if you have to do that, do it gently and really carefully. Turn the lid over and place the fan on top so that the holes line up. Now there are four holes in the fan lid, but the fan is pretty small, so we're only going to screw it in with two screws on the diagonal. Flip it over again, slip a washer on each screw, and then tighten the nut as hard as you can with your fingers. And that's it for your lid. You can put that aside now. For this step, you're going to need a, the circle with the funny shapes cut out of it and your inner ring and mesh. Break out the legs and then use your craft knife to carefully cut the excess knobs off the legs. Now take your mesh and put your ring on top of it. Draw around the ring and then draw another circle about two centimeters wider than the one you just drew. This is so that you have enough room for the mesh to pull around the edge as you push it in. Cut along the outside line and we're done with that. Wedge your legs into the top and the bottom of your biltong maker and add a blob of glue to each one for extra stability. Now you're going to take your plastic bag and cut off the sealed part along the bottom. This will leave you with a plastic tube to pull over the outside of your biltong maker. Once it's firmly in place, trim off the excess, but don't do it too close to the bottom of the rim. Stick it to the structure with small bits of your black curious gum. And that's it. Now you have a functioning biltong maker or food dehydrator if you're not so into biltong. Check out this video to see how to make biltong if you are into biltong. 
Thanks for watching. Stay curious.